morning everyone. Say hello when you pop on and we will get started in just a minute. Just letting the camera catch up to my laptop and, and yeah it's Friday already. Can you believe it? Say hi if you're around. And hello. Let me know if you can't see something. So here's the colors we're using today for this one. Um, so it's been a long week. And I apologize for springing on you last Friday that uh, I wasn't here. I was testing to see if a scheduled post would post. And it did. Yay. Um, that way when I go away again, I can still bring you something to see. So, um, this past weekend we went camping with my two kids and four grandkids. And we went out to the beach and did a little quadding. And had a whole lot of fun. And way too much food. And on and on and on. So it was good to see all the the grandbabies together having lots of fun. So, what I'm going to be talking about today is how you take your stamp set, such as this one, which is the stamp of the month for August, and how you can use it in versatile ways. Um, I'm sure there is tons more than what I'm going to be sharing with you today. I focused on color and placement and a, a, a little bit more of a twist um, to show you on re planned random stamping. And um, if you would like this stamp set, it is S2008 Floral Celebration, which again is the stamp of the month for August. And I love that some of these are lined, some of these are solid, some are half and half. Lots of different sizes within this. Lots of little foofies. And one of the other stamp sets that I use today is the Operation Smile. And it is D1920. Very cute stamp set. And I use the thinking of you. One more. This is a birthday stamp set. It is C1847. Again, lots of versatile little things and lots of different words, lots of different sizes, alphabet, you know, capital and non capital. And this one is celebrating you. And I use the happy birthday and the celebrating you today. Okay, so let's get started. So this first card, um, I did an embossing folder. I did some background stamping. I did some stamping on uh, background and texture paper. And this one is actually on background and texture paper as well. It's a very subtle pattern and if you'd like to see that let me know in the comments and I will give you a screenshot of what it is. But right now what I wanted to show you was how I did this and hopefully you can see, come on camera, you can see that there's some little stamps right here that are very subtle and it's a soft look but it's there and it adds just a little bit because you don't need it too busy okay so I'm going to be using these three stamps from the stamp set and I'm going to be using smoothie and peach and that's how I got that really light colored look because this is the smoothie paper okay and I realized that I only need a little bit around the edges so if you just keep in mind that when you look at it this 
make sure I'm on camera. When you're looking at the card on some grid paper or just make some lines on, say the paper wasn't grid paper, you could just take a pencil and put a little little line, you know, how far you need. So that way you can tell. But with the grid paper, it makes it really easy. And it doesn't really matter where you start. Oops, don't like that. Put it on the wrong side. I don't know if you know. But if you look at our blocks, you can see rounded edges and sharp edges. And there's also a uh, engraving line here. So if you hold it on the rounded edges versus the hard edges, it's much easier. It's much more comfortable, not easier. So what I did was I started off the page. And remember, plan random. You want to kind of go... I want to go on and off the page, okay? But I don't want to go on and off the page evenly, okay? So I know I need about half an inch, and I want to make sure I go a little bit further than that so that way it doesn't stop right on the edge. And I'm going to vary. And since I didn't do this corner, I'm going to do that corner. So here it's off the page, here it's on the page. And you just kind of circle around. I'm going to change colors because you don't need to see me do all of it. And then what I did is I went back, and it, you'll notice that I started with the biggest one. I'm going to go down in size because as you're filling in, you're going to be getting less size, right? So then, again, I'm going to go back and forth, trying not to... Um, make it too even, okay? I know you can't see this. I'll hold it up now. I'm going to go to my tiny one, and I'm just going to fill in with the tiny one. And since it's so light, you really don't have to worry um, too much about over stamping. Hopefully. You can see that. Let me see. Does that help at all? Maybe this on the white. Like I say, it's really subtle. When you use light colors, it's hard to see until you see it in person. I will put a picture of this um, close up so that way you can see it. And then all it was was layering everything. On, on this one, I used Julep Sparkles. I layered the flower just in this middle, and I layered the leaves just next to the flower. So hopefully you can see some of that depth. And then this is just layered onto a piece of paper. I made it the length of this little squiggle, and I stamped this one first, turned it around, and stamped this one. That way it, the squiggle stays even, and it looks nice on your card. And then this one, this background piece, I just left a little bit. So that way, a little bit of that white, if you'll notice, a little bit of the white pops up here and there just to balance it. So that would be the least of the colors, the three. And then the next is the green. And the most prominent is the um, smoothie. So that's the first card. Let me just clean these for a second. Need them again. And we're back. And we're going to change colors and move on to something else. Let's see. I'll stick that up there. And I'll show you all four cards um, when I'm done so that way you can see how versatile they look together. So the next one I'm just going to talk about because it's pretty straightforward. So the colors here that I use were Espresso and Fern. And I used two markers. I used the dull green and the citrus. And I used this, the citrus yellow color on the flowers. I used the green on the leaves. I um, stamped this one in the espresso. And the green, the fern. And then I colored it in. And then... I used the gold rod stickles to make little drops and actually there's little circles underneath these stickles and I colored them in with yellow 
because that just gave my gold a little bit more depth of color. The same with, and hopefully you can see this, same with this little flower that I cut out. I put the yellow on the inside of that because that flower is actually not colored in for the center. So I colored it in with yellow and then put a lot of this um, stickles. So you have to let it dry. Um, just set it aside and don't touch it. I came back today and then, you know, you can touch it. So off the page. I really like this kind of um, framing where you leave a little bit for your words. Instead of normally, you know, we would frame it out. Either way is fine. I love this background paper from Timber. And that's about all there is to say about that one. Get those out of the way. Next up is this one. And I will pull in the colors. So we used linen. We used, I used linen. Carolina, Sapphire, and Bluebird. And I used the, um, the thin cut that goes with the um, shaker card element. So it gives you this stitched frame and this circle. And I raised up the circle. And this is linen cardstock. And this is a linen cardstock back here on a white card. And then I stamped on linen. Okay. And how I did this one is, again, start with your biggest stamps. And I stamped this. Let's make sure that you can see. I stamped this big flower. And then I came in and I stamped this one and this one. And then I stamped this one and this one. And I kind of just migrated it across the page until I got to about here. And then I knew that I wanted three, because odd numbers, right? So I put that one there, and I knew I had a circle here to work within. So that way, if I had to overlap anything, I could do it there. So I had this one, this one, this one, this one. This little piece you can see peeking out. Then I put this one, and then I went from here to here, and then I started up here. Then I cut out this little one here and a couple of leaves, and I'll pull it up because, again, it's a light color, so it might be a little hard to see, and I used some um, silver gems, and this is actually a pretty big one, but I really like it that way. And you could have sponged this, you could have sponged this, you could have put some, you know, all kinds of things. This is just getting you started. Okay, so there's that one. And I have one more to show you. And we are going to be using these. So overall, I used quite a few of the stamps. And here's another little trick. If you're running out of blocks or you only have one, you can put one leaf here and one leaf here. As long as you can see this leaf for stamping, it works great. All right, and the last one, which I really, really like the way it came out. And thank you to all the Close My Heart sisters who gave me lots of um, inspiration to go off of. So this one has got a lot going on, and I don't know if you can tell. This is all random stamped back here. But this one, as you can see, is all is a, a white circle that is uh, just cut out pieces and and put on there so again the random stamping start with your biggest add a leaf what I did was I put it this down on my grid paper I knew how big this and this was so I just made a little line here and I went about a quarter of an inch down further you can even go a half an inch if you want so that way I had a little grid line here of, of where I needed to fill in so I just started filling in and going across the page. Now if I'm doing the whole page, I might scatter down diagonally, but I just kind of put them in like that. And then this I wanted to show you. 
So here's all my pieces. Make sure that I'm in focus. What I really wanted to show you is how I did this. So this is just a circle from our, our thin cuts. And this is this pretty little scallop. And I love that it has, it just, it comes out so nice when it's um, embossed. And this little stitch line is so pretty. I just love that. And Coach My Heart is always thinking. They always make sure that whatever is separate works with something. Okay, so we don't need that for just now. And I've got all these little pieces. Don't need that for now. And I've got all the little extra pieces that I cut off. So here's some pieces, okay? Stamped them on white, cut them out. Pretty quick and easy. And what I'm going to do is take my biggest one. And you can see here that I only used uh, a little more than half of it. So I'm going to move those out of the way. <laughs> I'm going to put adhesive on about half of it. So then I hold it here so I know where my adhesive is. And I just place it on. Okay. And then I'm going to put on uh, this piece. So this is my extra piece. And yes, you can use your scraps. You just turn it around. Let's see. Okay, you gotta think about this. <laughs> so, yeah, where to go? There it is. Oh, get off my finger. Okay. So this little piece I'm going to stick under there, okay? And then I can put this little piece right there, and then, anybody ever watch that show where the little baby dinosaurs says, and then, and then, that's what I feel like today. So I'm going to go around and add some more leaves. Everything's sticking to me. Oh, it's Friday, and it's it's been a crazy one. <laughs> it's been a heck of a week. I'm tired still. You know, when you sleep in the trailer, you don't sleep as well as you would when you're home. Okay. Let's get some more of that in there. Let's overlap that a little bit. And they're never going to come out the same. And overlapping is fine. As long as you get enough adhesive on there. Okay, so I left a little bit of space. I could actually go in and put another flower right on there. Okay, stick them down good. Make sure everything's pretty well stuck. Turn it over. I'm going to cut off all that excess. And again, you can uh, save your little bits. I really thought this was a cool idea. Somebody had done it a little differently. And I thought, hmm, that'd be pretty. So here we are. <laughs> all right. So that's what you end up with, and when you pop it onto here, isn't that pretty? But I have one more. If you'll notice on the card, there's these little dots, and they're even in there. And I just used the journaling pen, and I just went one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And that just adds a little bit to finish it off. So then you can raise it up or not raise it up. Ah, out of tape. Oh, you get the idea. And there we go. How cute is that? You could put shimmer. You could do all kinds of things. Like I said, it's just a, a starting point and you 
can certainly do whatever else you want and bring in all four cards so you can see them all together and see what you think of versatility with your stamp sets. Make sure you can see all those. And I will add a, a still photo, photo close up for you if you want to see anything close up. So let me know in the comments. If you would share the video, I'd really appreciate it. If you would comment and tell me which one is your favorite card, I would appreciate that as well. Um, if you try one of these techniques, I would love to see your cards. You can share them in the comments. And I hope everyone has an awesome day. And my birthday's coming up, so I think I'm going to ask for some kind of a camera that I can more easily show my face than ripping the camera, the phone down, and all that stuff. So, wish me luck, and I will talk to you again soon. Have an awesome weekend, and I can't wait to share some more goodies with you. If you have anything that you would like to see, um, if there's a technique, if I don't know it, I'll research it. Um, if there's a product that you'd like to see me use, please put that in the comments for me. Bye now.